Welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when we upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to calibrate your display color in Windows 10 using the color calibration wizard. If you have noticed when using your monitor that your photos or videos or even games aren't quite the right colour or they're slightly off, then running this calibration wizard will be a great thing for you to do to try and get those colours back to normal again on your display. To do this, all you need to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and search calibration. You then need to click on this calibrate display colour here and this is the calibration wizard that you'll be running through. So you can have a little read through of each step, but this is just basically telling you that to improve the color on your display, using this wizard will make the colors appear more accurately. If you do have two monitors or multiple displays, you will need to just move this window onto the monitor that you want to calibrate. Then if you're ready, just click next. Again, have a little read through of the information, but this is just basically telling you that if you have the menu button on your monitor, just press it and set it to the factory default color settings. But again, once you've had a little read through and you're happy, just press next. This page just explains to you about gamma, and when you've had a little read through and again you're happy just press next on this screen it will ask you to move the slider up or down but it would want you to minimize the visibility of the small dots in the middle of each circle so i'll just press next it will now ask you to find your brightness and contrast controls on your monitor for your display so they might be on the side of the monitor or they might be on your on-screen display menu if you don't know where those controls are you can press skip and it will run you through another setting I'm just going to go ahead and press next. This is just a bit of information about the brightness on how it should look. So if you're happy, just press next. You will now need to adjust the brightness on your monitor according to what it said on the previous page. So I'm just going to leave mine as it is and press next. This is just a little information telling you how to adjust the contrast and what it should look like. So again, once you're happy, press next. And now go ahead and adjust your contrast up or down so that the picture is clear and the colours are good on your screen. Once you're happy with that, press next. This is just showing you about the colour balance adjustment that you'll be doing on the next page. So if you just have a little read through and press next. So you will now need to move the red, green and blue sliders to remove any colour from the grey bars. To be honest, I can't see any of mine, but I'm just going to press next. You can now compare this calibration that you've just run with your previous one to see if there's any major differences and to make sure you're happy with it. So if you were to click on previous, it's slightly lighter. And if you go into current, mine's slightly darker. You might notice some big changes in yours. You might not notice any at all. It all depends on what settings you've done and how you've adjusted the sliders. But once you are happy, you can just press finish. You can always calibrate your display colour again by running this wizard again if you were unhappy and if you notice that your photos or your games aren't quite the colours that you want them to be. There is a box here that I will untick so if you leave it ticked it will start the clear type tuner when you press finish which is basically just a tuner that helps your text become more sharper and easier to read. I have actually done a tutorial on this previously which I will put a link to in the description below. But again like I said once you're happy just press finish and there we go that's how easy it is to run a display color calibration in windows 10 i hope this tutorial did help if it did hit the like button below and subscribe don't forget to check out my social media channels and forum